I feel as if your destiny was written before you were ever born. It doesn't matter how far you run away from it. Something will always pull you back in the direction that you were meant to be. 30 years ago, I never thought we would have left here and moved to the United States. You know, never in a million years would I have thought that, you know, being you know, one of the top bodybuilders in the world. All Sean needs to do, Dwayne, his first stand down, is keep doing what he's been doing all along. And that's working hard and not, you know, getting sidetracked by all these things that life throws at you. I received a phone call from my brother saying that they're taking my dad to the hospital. Came back and they told us that he had level four lung cancer. I went from seeing my dad being Superman to I could pick him up and carry him around in one hand. When your support system died, you kind of shut down sometimes. And you know, this was one of the times that he really shut down and... I quit bodybuilding. I drank and I drank and I drank and I drank and I drank. Back to that picture, man, it just, to me, that, that wasn't Sean. That wasn't the Sean I knew. The day he passed away, he looked over at me and he says, so when are you going to get back in the gym? Yeah. A lot of guys come to the gym, they want to play around, they want to do this, they want to do that, but we don't get anything out of the workout. But with him, I know what I get every single time. It's 110%, we make it happen. To see somebody transformed like that in 15 to 16 weeks, it never gets old. It's like magic. Sometimes the equipment breaks, but the man don't. You know, someone once called me a one-hit wonder. It's like, how many times can that one-hit wonder hit again? <laughs>